intercessors for South Africa call all believers to stand in the gap for our nation. Join us now as we pray. My name is Daniel, I'm from Cape Town, South Africa, and I want to invite you to pray with me for the 50 days from Resurrection Sunday till Pentecost Sunday on the 4th of June. This week we focus on the arts, culture and entertainment, and when we consider this domain, we are reminded of Joseph's life in the Old Testament, where Joseph was a dreamer. He was a man that could hear God, and through his dreams, he not only saw the dreams, he also had the interpretation. This interpretation actually got him into trouble many times. Even at the beginning, when he had the dream about his brothers, he ended up in a pit. After that, he had dreams where he was actually telling the people in the prison what, they, what he saw. These dreams also resulted in him being um, put in charge of Egypt in second command. And God used him to feed the nations. God used him to reveal his purposes to the nation of Israel and to Egypt. And God did tremendous things through Joseph. Joseph was a righteous leader. He was a leader that know, knew the calling that God has placed on his life. He knew how to resist temptation and he knew how to be faithful in rejection. And at the last of his days, Joseph forgave his brothers as he was reunited with his family. So let us pray for the arts and the culture and the entertainment sectors of our society. Father, we bring them before you. We say, Lord, will you raise up Josephs that will give glory to your name, that will be able to hear God in the night and in the day, that will be able to interpret your word to a nation, that will have the gift of strategy and plans and actions in order to implement the works of God, that will have a gift to lead a nation with the creativity of the Spirit of God. Lord, we pray for the Josephs to arise in South Africa from small to old and in their workplace and in their private environments Will you bless them indeed, in Jesus' name, amen. Join us tomorrow as we continue to intercede on behalf of South Africa and her people.